I am going to check the screen uniformity of my LG C1 after 2000 hours of usage. And the reason why I'm going to do that is because after 2000 hours, your LG OLED is going to ask you to do a one hour pixel refresh. Okay, so this is going to be the before video. And then after the pixel refresh, I am going to do a follow up video checking the screen uniformity too, just to see if there is any changes. If right now, if I have any screen uniformity issues to see if there is an improvement after the pixel refresh. So I haven't done any checks right now. I'm going to check the screen uniformity for the first time right now. So before I do that, let me show you the settings that I'm going to be using on the TV to do this test. OK, I have SDR. I am on game optimizer mode and I have you can see the settings here. OLED pixel brightness 75 contrast 85 gamma BT 1886. It's full range on the GPU, full range on the TV and the colors. Color depth 55, white balance, and warm 50. Okay, and the color gamut and automatic. So, right now, I have this video on YouTube. I'm gonna have a link in the description of this video if you want to do the test yourself. That is going to show us all the gray scale, basically. So, we're starting at zero. So, zero is no light. <laughs> and then we're gonna go from there. And I am going to adjust the camera settings. So right now we have a 1%. So let me adjust the camera settings so you can see everything. So I'm going to increase that visibility, but not too much. Let me make sure I can close this curtain. Okay. Okay. So I want to increase the visibility. So right now we are at 1%. So this is going to look grainy on the video. So rely on my description. Let me hit play so I can see. OK, so rely on my description right now. What I see, if anything, let me go back to this 1%. So we are at 1% right now. So what I can see with my eyes if anything, it's a very faint. I mean, I cannot call this a line. I can say it is not perfectly uniform right now in the center of the screen on this 1% gray slide. I can see on the center of the screen. It's not like absolutely perfect, but I cannot call this like a like an uniformity issue or anything like that. It, it is not. Yeah, it's almost not there. It's almost not there. But now here it might be a little bit more visible. Let me reduce this a little bit more. So it is. I'm going to go back again. So I'm, I'm trying to calibrate the the gain of the recording. So it so it looks as bright as it looks in front of me. OK, like this. So you see in the center of the screen, there is like a faint. I would call this like a decoloration. It is not like perfectly uh, smooth. Let me go back to 1% and I'm just going to let the video play. You see, it is not totally perfect in the center. And and to tell you, I can see that a lot better on the recording than in front of me. In front of me it doesn't I cannot see that line in front of me like you're seeing it on the recording. Yeah, in front of me I I cannot see it that well. In the recording it looks a lot better. But let's see if after that pixel refresh it is gone, maybe. But I cannot see it. I, I'm looking at the camera at the recording right now and it is super obvious in front of me. I cannot see it so right now. For example, right now in front of me, 
I cannot see that line that I see on the recording. Let me go back. So this is, let me go back here to 10%. Let's see. Let me look at the TV instead of looking at the recording. I can see it here. I can see the line here clear. Here, I see it on the recording, but I don't see it. I, in front of me, I see it here below a little bit. But in the recording, it's a lot more visible than in front of me. Here, I cannot see it. See, this is 15%. 20% I don't see anything on the recording I think it looks okay on the recording see here this is perfect 25% so I think the closer to black is more problematic so this is 30% let me reduce the gain Yeah, I don't think we're going to have any, any issues again. 35%. Yeah, I don't see any issues whatsoever. 40%. 45 Let me reduce the gain. Because when it's too bright, it's going to be clipping. Yeah, I'm curious to know if after that pixel refresh, those lines are going to be gone. But I mean, it's, it's not a big deal. I cannot see it in front of me. I see it on the recording more than in front of me. We have 60%. And I'm going to change the settings of the TV and run this video again, especially that first part. I'm going to change to Gamma 2.2, just in case that BT1886 BT is hiding anything. I'm going to change it to Gamma 2.2, and I'm going to max out the brightness and run again. Yeah, I don't think we're going to see any issues. Let me reduce the gain. I don't think we're going to see any issues here. It's just on the first part. Closer to black. That's what I'm going to be running again. It is perfect. Of course, I don't have any burning or anything. You see... Uh, you know, I know a lot of people are afraid of doing all this stuff that I that I do. Not that I recommend it. I just show you the options and it's up to you. But the way I use the TV, there's no way I'm going to get burning. No way. Because I play so many games at the same time. I do not use this TV to work. <laughs> I just use it for gaming. So there's no way. And I don't like HUDs anyway. I'm always trying to remove the HUDs just because I don't like them. And maybe, yeah, I play Souls games that they do have the HUD. But, yeah, I don't think I'm going to ever going to get burning. The TV is going to break. It's going to be for something else. Okay, so that's 100%. So let me go back with these new settings now. Go back to zero. Let me increase the gain. Okay, so we are in zero right now. Zero RGB. That light, that's the light from my window. It's not fully. Okay, let's see now. So on the recording, I can see that line in the center. But in front of me, I feel it. It is there, but I cannot see it as, as well as I can see it on the recording. I'm sure it's there. But right now here, I cannot see it. It is so much more clear on the recording.
I'm gonna change the gamma to one point. It's clipping here. I'm gonna change it to 1.9 and run it. Fifteen percent. You can still see the line. In front of me, I cannot see anything. So what I do see in front of me, for example, in this previous slide, is that the borders, they, they have like a redness. Like the borders of the screen, the color is, is like, it has a tendency to be red. Closer to the edges of the screen. But it's something very, 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 very faint. It's like a decoloration. So let me go back to zero. I'm going to change to gamma 1.9 just to see if that is going to reveal more the issue. Gamma 1.9. Let's see now. Let me increase the, the gain. You run it again. Zero. This is black. 1%. So you see on the video, it's clear. Center and even... You see these bands? In front of me, I cannot see that. Let me pay attention again. I cannot see that in front of me. Yeah, it's, it's there. Yeah, if I look for it. Yeah, yeah, I see it. I see it. I see it. I see it. Definitely see it at 1%. 5%. Mmm. It's there on the recording, but I cannot see it in front of me. But it's there. It's definitely there. But of course, in real, in real context, that's going to be impossible to detect. But what I do see, or what I do see more clear, is this redness. Let me see if you can, if the camera can capture that. So you see, the corner of the screen is is like red. It looks kind of red. Let's see, I'll go back. It's not gray. It looks a little bit red. Yeah, recording might not be capturing that. But yeah, that's it. I'm going to do a follow up video. I know this might not be the most entertaining video, but I am curious to know if that pixel refresh is going to fix that uniformity issue. Uh, and I remember I did a video like this at the very beginning. And I think this is even better than what I show at the beginning. At the beginning, I was able to see that line in the center a lot more. It was a lot more visible. And I mentioned that actually I'm going to try to find that video and post the link in the description. So maybe you can also compare what I, what I have at the beginning and now. Uh, of course, it was a different camera, but yeah, still, still should be uh, maybe good to compare. I'm going to see if I go back and watch that video to see if I notice any difference. But yeah, as you can see, there's no burning, even with all the stuff that I do. And going to the service menu and making all those changes, no burning. But of course, I don't watch any news. Uh, I don't watch anything that has a logo. And I play different games. So, yeah. Let me know if you have any questions.